Well, we're back up at the property. I uh, picked up my parts yesterday for to repair the tractor. Uh, got the new bushing into the cylinder and got the cylinder in. I'm gonna show you what where we're at now. I didn't film any of that, but uh, I can show you what we're doing. <clears throat> Right here is the top of the uh, uh, rear axle area. And there's a cylinder in here that lifts this arm. And these here are the arms that actually attach to this system that lifts the whole back scraper up. What happened was that seal totally fell apart, broke, cracked, so we had to replace that. Here's the old seal. You can see it's flat, broken, cracked. So what it was doing, it takes hydraulic lines from fuel from here and pumps it in here and moves the shaft up, lifting everything. So it was an easy fix. It took us a while trying to heat this up in water to stretch it enough over it. It's really tight fit. I cleaned up the old parts. And then what we did is we were putting a new coat of paint on them so it'll look halfway decent and then we'll paint everything else once we get all the parts back onto the tractor at least it'll uh, keep it clean enough put a new coat of uh, glossy paint onto it so when we get it dirty we can hose it all back up so I'll put this thing back together well we got the tractor all put back together I uh, started painting some of it. Uh, when we come up over the 4th of July, we'll actually put the plate back on it, get the seat back onto it and set it up. So the hydraulics are all working right. Uh, it lifts the uh, back end stuff. I'll be doing some dis uh, quick disconnects on some of the cables down here so I can take my scraper off and add other uh, uh, um, things on the back of this thing so we can work on it. So. But other than that, I put all together, and uh, it's working pretty good. So hopefully, you know, uh, total cost into it. I had to buy some more uh, fluid. The big thing was the hydraulic fluid, when it mixed into the uh, rear axle, basically contaminated my fluid, so I needed to buy another. We bought 10 gallons when we noticed it was there, so at $97 for five gallons, that was $200 there. I had to buy another five gallons of hydraulic fluid, so that's another 100 So there's about $400, $350-$400 just in uh, hydraulic fluid and oil for the rear end. The parts alone just to fix the problem was probably under 60 bucks. They were real cheap change out some bolts that I didn't really need to, but I wanted to. So for under a hundred dollars, I actually fixed it. It probably would have took about eight to 10 hours for the shop to do it. They charge $110 an hour. So you're looking at another thousand to $2,000 just in labor uh, to refix this. One of the big things uh, of owning older equipment and doing stuff here on a homestead by yourself, uh, if you're mechanical, you need to work on your own stuff or you need to know someone that can help you work trade out a deal I enjoy just working on these things to fix it if I got to trade with someone to uh, hey you give me eight hours in uh, my greenhouse helping me dig some ditches and uh, water some stuff fix some stuff I'll come wrench on your uh, tractor for eight hours it's a great win-win situation for everybody and it limits the cost of what you need to do. So, but that's it for this week. Uh, I'll be back up here on the 4th of July. We're gonna lay out where the house is gonna go. Um, hopefully in two weeks, the well driller will be out. We'll start uh, laying out the pad and where the well house is gonna be. I need to get the electrical set in there. So we'll start getting that. We'll give you the first building on our property. We'll get electrical out, get water hooked up to it. Then we can get the trees and stuff in there and put in anything. But thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.